Okay, welcome to IQ online classes. I'm Tutor Marco. So today we'll be solving questions on projectile motion. Projectile motion, this is mechanical department 22 December debate exam. So here, our first question is define the following terms. The first one, what is a projectile? Second one, what's a trajectory? B, no. A projectile is launched from the top of a 8 meter high building at a speed of 8 meters per second and an elevation of 40 degrees to and above the horizontal. Calculate A. Maximum height reached from the base of the building. 2. Total time of the flight. 3. The impact velocity. And the last one, find the what? The range. So let's start with the definitions. So for the first one, so what is a projector? A projector is just a particle given initial speed and moves entirely under the influence of its weight only. So just a particle, a particle given initial speed, initial speed and moves So this is what we call projectile. That's a particle that is given initial speed and moves entirely under the influence of its weight only. So that's what we call a projectile. So the second question is, what is a trajectory? What is a trajectory? So the first, the second question is, what is a trajectory? So what do we mean by a trajectory? A trajectory, we are just talking about a path taken by a projectile. A trajectory is a path taken by a projectile. So a path taken by, by a projector. Okay. So a path taken by a projector is what we call a trajectory. So now let's go to question B. Let's go to question B. So, so the question is. A projector is launched from the top of a 30 meter high building. So let's talk about this. This is a building, it says the ground here. And this is the 30 meter high building. So, so we have at the top here. From a 30 meter high building at a speed of 30 meters per second. So meaning it is launched here, kick it like this, it moves like this. At a speed of, let's say V, a speed of 30 meters per, per second and an elevation angle of 40 degrees to and above the horizontal. So, meaning here the angle to and above the horizontal was what? Was what? 40 degrees. Let me put it in this way. So, the angle here was 40 degrees. So this projector moved like this, it moved, it moved, it moved, it moved up until it is the ground here. So this is the free board diagram of this question. So a projector is launched from a 30 meters high building at a speed of 30 meters per second and at an angle of 40 degrees. So the first question is calculate the maximum height lift from the base of the building. So calculate the maximum height lift from the base of the building. So we need to find the height, the total height. So mean the height from here to here. So meaning if this is the maximum height here, so meaning we need to find the height from here up to here. This is the height we want. But this height of the building we are given. So meaning for us to find the maximum height reached from the base of the building. So to find the maximum height, we need to find this height here. 
We see the marks and lines. We need to find this edge here. Then we find the dot line. So this edge is what we call the marks and lines. So we need to find this edge here. That we call the marks and lines. So how do we find that edge? How do we find that edge? So this is what you do. If you want to find this edge, you get this top part here, which we call the base type of the projector. You ignore this other part here. Ignore it completely. Ignore the down part completely and concentrate on this top part. So this top part will make the base type of the projector. So let's take the top part, ignore this bottom part, ignore this 30 meters high. So, so we have something like this. Can I put it here? So we have something like this here. We have a projector like this one. Okay. So we have ignored this bottom part. So here, what was the angle here? So the angle here was what? 40 degrees. Then what is the speed? Okay, let's talk. The speed is what? 30 meters per second. So meaning. This is the what? The maximum height. The maximum height. So this is the maximum height. So I've seen what we have done. We have ignored this bottom part here and we have concentrated on the top part. So in our previous video, we did questions on this first part of the projector. So on this bottom part, we don't know it. They have just introduced it. So, but this top part we know it. So, we have gotten this top part here. So, from this top part here, we know that this distance from here to here is what? It's what we call the range. So, how do we find the maximum height? So, the maximum height is given by this formula. We say h is equal to b squared sin squared theta over what? Over 2g. So in this case, this formula is equal to what? B initial square is equal to, we can't find sine square directly with the calculator, so we we'll put it in this, we we'll say, sine theta, multiplied by sine theta, okay, over what? Over 2g. So this is the formula we are going to use to find the maximum height. So this is the formula we are going to use to find the maximum height. So let's find the maximum height. So let's find the maximum height in here. Okay. So let's find the maximum height. So we said h is equal to b initial squared sine theta. Okay. Multiplied by sine theta. Okay. Over what? Over two g. So here. So meaning h is equal to h is equal to what is our initial speed? Which is that when we square it, what is the angle sine? Sine what? Sine what? Multiplied by sine what? Sine 40 over 2. What is the value for gravity? We say 9.81. So in this case, what is this squared? What is this squared? Let's just put it, what is that squared? So if you have what? 900. Okay, multiply by what is sine 4? Multiply by sine 4. Sine 4, multiply by sine 4. This is 0 0.4131759. Over, what is the answer here? 2 multiplied by 9.81. So this is 19.62. So meaning our answer will be 900 multiplied by 0 0.4131759 divided by, okay, this is 371.886 divided by 19.62. So answer divided by 19.62 which is equals to 18 18